Good morning, church. Today we're going to continue with our Sunday school lesson, and we are in the book of Matthew, the fourth chapter, the 12th through the 18th verse. Our title for this week will be Call to Follow. Our focus on the lesson this week is Jesus calls us to be his light in darkness. Here in this particular text, we find Jesus returning to Galilee after learning that John the Baptist had been thrown into prison. The scripture says that Jesus left Nazareth to live in Capernaum to pick up where John left off, which was talking about the kingdom of God and what it would take to be a part of it. Now, it was probably no accident that Jesus initially settled in Capernaum because we know that Peter's house there became Jesus' base of operation during his extended ministry in Galilee. Capernaum was a significant economic center in that day. Even some called the, the city a city of teeming with men. There Jesus would find men with different occupations, such as craftsmen, fishermen, tradesmen, and others involved in commerce. In Capernaum, Jesus performed his first miracle there. And more importantly, it was in Capernaum where Jesus began to clarify his purpose for coming and what people needed to do to benefit from what he had to offer. Jesus said that his purpose is to bring light into a world filled with darkness. He said the kingdom of God was at the door and that the way out of spiritual darkness was right in front of those he was speaking to. And, that, and if they wanted this light, they had to repent and turn away from their way of thinking and make a commitment to follow Jesus and his way to that kingdom. In other words, the people must repent because God's reign was drawing near in the person and ministry of Jesus Christ. And then the chapter continues on with Jesus deciding to recruit a committed group of disciples to help him spread the kingdom message. The Bible states that while Jesus was strolling along beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two fishermen casting their nets. These two fishermen were Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew. Jesus told them to come and follow him, and he will send them out to fish for people. The Bible says that they at once left their nets and followed Jesus. Walking a little further beside the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw two other brothers in a boat preparing to cast their nets, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Jesus called them, just as he did Peter and Andrew, and they immediately left the boat, left their father, and followed Jesus. Evangelism was at the heart of Jesus' call to his disciples. Just as Jesus called on Andrew, Peter, James, and John, and others to join him in his mission, he calls on us to do the same, to be his light in the midst of darkness. Jesus wants our attitudes, our actions, and our words to be a light to people. He wants what we do and what we say brighten lives and to make their world a better place to live in. In the process, he wants us to tell others about him so that they know that the ultimate solution for bringing light into the dark areas in their lives begins and ends with Jesus. What can you do this week to be a light to someone who is in darkness or is experiencing the results of being in this dark? I challenge you to let your light shine this week. God bless you.